Hello Riding People, yes Rivian. Today is a special day because my good friend Eric has a launch edition Rivian on order and Rivian have contacted him for a first drive and knowing that I also have a Rivian R1T on order he's kindly reached out to me and said would I like to ride shotgun and if I'm very lucky I might even get to drive it myself so that's what we're doing today. There we are. Rivian R1T launch edition yeah. green. You probably want to clear it before yes. you start rolling that up. This is the compressor. Right. Here I see the and that and that'll and that'll go to 150 psi. When it, it gets to its, when it gets to its setting, it will stop. But also be aware too that in order for it to truly get to what you set, it doesn't go immediately there. Right. It'll go to like maybe 46 and stop. Then it'll only so you set it a little bit higher. Yeah. You have it so, set to 50 for yep. 48 pounds. Yeah. I always set it a little bit higher. And that's the yep. That's the gear guard attachment. 110 right volt and 12. Yes. Rich one. Those are 110s. Oh, the so 12s are in here. Put that the up. 12 is in the front trunk. Those are just the two 110s. Okay. With the water resistant. Yep. Wow, they have nice tie downs as well. Really sturdy. Yeah, the ratchet strap hooks. Are Great. Because again, if you're gonna put your bike up here, and, and yeah. the gear guard will clip right on here. Good job considering it's called CCS charging, okay. combined charge system. If I fold that up, then it just exposes the J1772 um, level 2 AC charging. Down it's DC with two appendages. Up so only it's, it's a supercharger equivalent to high, yes. the high yeah, speed uh, DC yeah. ever. Street in San Francisco, you don't want to start. Oh, wow. The high region on the side. Oh, this, it, the biggest difference between this and a Tesla at this point is the is the profile of the region. And in high, it will, it will absolutely stop the vehicle. You'll have to get used to flexing your ankle yeah. to control it as sort of how you want it to, what distance you're going to stop. We're going to do a drive by. Uh, Whoa. Can you feel that? That's crazy. That's yeah. just no brake. Yep. That's just taking my foot off to get off the accelerator. Uh, Isn't that crazy? And what you'll find is, is nice about that. If you've made a mistake and you've gotten too close to someone in front of you, yeah. then you suddenly, as, as we all do, you have an instantaneous off the yep. accelerator. This will start to, it, it, will, it will start That's to get rear -ended. immediately. Although, what will happen too, though, is that your brake lights do go on. So at least they're being signaled, but yes, you're likely to get rear -ended. So. Unlike a motorcycle, when you go with engine brake, aka regen, the brake lights do go on. These, these do go on, which is great, great feature. All right, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's actually yeah. A, good, yeah, a good thought. Oh, huge. Yeah, because whenever you oh, otherwise nobody knows behind right. you. Whenever yeah. you're gear down. braking, yeah, downshifting. Well, so brake free. So around. when you buy your next bike here in Atlanta, you need to add the brake free, which we, have, like seven of us, have now. It's yeah. this little device that snaps on the back of your helmet. And it's LED lights and it senses deceleration. Wow, that's very cool. And it's so sick. I never knew that. Yeah, it's, it's a brand cool. new, brilliant device. It was Shark Tank. We're all using oh, it. That's very cool. why not? Oh, yeah. You, you have to do everything you can to, to be safe with the bike, as you guys know. Yeah, so that's no braking. It's none. And yeah, it'll come yeah. to a complete stop. It'll, 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 it'll even on a downhill? Even on a downhill. Really? Yeah. 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 Let's check Let's that out. Let's try that out. Flip us away. Yep. That's amazing, isn't it? Tes that is amazing. Tesla won't do that. That is a total more. stop. Zero. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> Love it. And again, it's just, it, it, and also it does that because if you're going to advertise this as an adventure vehicle, if you're off road and you're on a, and you're on a gnarly incline, yeah. you have to be able to have the vehicle do something that it doesn't keep moving in a downward or backward direction. I didn't know Tesla didn't do that. Yeah, Tesla does do it. It will get, it'll regen slow you down, but it won't come to a complete stop. Yeah. This isn't in ludicrous mode. This is just yeah. a standard. That's just yeah. That's why it's like a sport mode. Right? Yeah, you'll awesome. never. Yeah, that's why it's rare that you're going to put it into sport mode because it takes so again it goes to stiff suspension. Yeah. And on your everyday driving, you want this vehicle to be performant, which 
you also want it to be comfortable. Uh-huh. I'll say it's very comfortable here in the seat. Well, the pneumatic, the pneumatic suspension is great. Um, and the roll control is really nice, too. But it's the anti damp No brake. Yeah. No brake. It's a sick, sick bike, but uh, if you feel like it. Do you have air sickness bags? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we have like, it's like a, whatever, 20 minute, 30 minute drive? Yeah. Do you want to go to the river, uh, to the, the park area across the river? Is where we took the Tesla bridge? Yeah, I think that's a great place to take it, yeah. So there's no traffic and it's Morgan some twisty Falls. roads. Not Morgan's Falls, but uh, yeah. What's that called? Uh, Ch river? Chattahoochee Park or something. Yeah, Chattahoochee right? National Recreation Area? Yeah. yeah. Right. 
to you can't be done. Do it again. Do it again. To you can't be done. Yeah. Do yeah. So both key key highways. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it is. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. I had to check. Yeah. <laughs> I was letting it go off the road, and it did. Wow. Uh, it's really cap capable off road, isn't it? So yeah. I'm sure there's a it'll different show, icon that'll come yeah, up. It's actually a massive icon. It's it'll tell you you are now under driver plus. This is interesting. I mean, it's a Tesla like. I like it. You see the cars it's got stacked up here in front of us on the dash. Yeah. That's, that's, it doesn't that, show that, that opposing. Is -like. It doesn't show opposing traffic though. No. So only what's in your way. Yeah. That is the difference. Yeah, the Volvo's got a green steering wheel that lights up when it's you know when it's auto drive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Auto pilot. Auto pilot, I think. I like that. the way they fade the map out. It's it's clean. And it's not it's not a very complex UX UI either. I found that the Model S that I drove the other day as a training vehicle to go yeah. back to the service center. It took me a while to sort of be to, to understand the basic navigation of getting from yeah, there you go. And to get it back on. To get it back on, you can do it this oh. way. Yeah. So that's swipe, right. Swipe off. Swipe off. Swipe on. Swipe on. Yep. Okay. Yep. And I'm not centered anymore, so I hit recent. Yep. There you go. There we go. Pretty right. smooth. Like that. And you'll see too when you put it into reverse that same computer generated image yeah. will show up on your center screen and it will what it does is it positions you so you know exactly where the vehicle is. It's just not the turn arrows, it's where the vehicle is. So you might see that it's in reverse. Okay. Is it this one, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. First one. Yeah. You know where it is. Yeah.
recreation area. Yeah, I saw that, but... No, I've never been over here. This is the it's beautiful, beautiful, place. beautiful little place. There's some trails that descend from the parking lots to go down the river and along the river, and it's all federal mm-hmm. recreation area. That's very nice. Respectful of Jerry's new Tesla, knowing that it wasn't mine, and you drove it like you stole it. <laughs> I can't comment. <laughs> engine braking basically you're generating power and you'll be surprised at how 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 effective it is sensitive in off-road rock roll, but you want it to be super precise in sport mode. She, she's not doing something right because the, uh, the tires weren't squealing. <laughs> That's called sanity? <laughs> And you'll notice, yeah, and you'll notice too, being an EV pilot, you'll know the vehicle is it just behaves the way you want it to. Your accelerator pedal is is all muscle memory and flex, and again, because of that yeah, regen strong. being so strong, you'll the learning curve is very steep. 
Yeah, that really is strong, that region. Very noticeable. It's on high. There's a off, normal, and high? Yeah, I, right? really, I really like it on high. Um, and you'll, oh, and also, I don't know if this happens to Tesla, but be aware that if you are at full battery capacity, yeah. and, it, and it'll come up with a warning, but sometimes you won't notice it, yeah. your regenerative braking can't be as powerful right. because of the fact that you have to, it doesn't it doesn't want to accept right. additional kilowatts. Gotcha. And that's the way it's 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 temperature controlling its profile. I thought that's why there's a flux capacitor in there to store the extra juice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the right qualities are so nice when you go over ripple surfaces like that. So, so yeah, nice. and our riverside is not smooth there, and it was very nice. The, re the region is so nice as well because it, it's like two foot driving. You just have that. Well, what's really nice about it, what's really nice transition. about it too, is I find that it's it's artificially giving you gear braking without you having to oh, activate yeah. it. No downshifting. Right. Required. There's no downshift, so there's no right. clutch, so it's automatic downshifting through your gears. But it's not your gears; it's your regen. Right. This guy's pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, it's almost like you've done this before. <laughs> yeah, he was like the guy early on. It shows. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. The first mile demo drive tour was not supposed to end. Uh -huh. It was supposed to be permanent. Okay. And little did we know that those uh -huh. of us that were hired to be permanent employees of that marketing group. We were told at the end of last calendar year that we would have to <laughs> find something else to do. Is that when you chose Atlanta? <laughs> That's when I chose Atlanta, yeah. I was going to choose Portland yeah. because my 21-year-old son lives out there. He's yeah. an electrician. Yeah. But I have an 86-year-old mother who I have literally not seen more, more than a couple of days um, for years. Yeah. Ah, careful. Jeez. I am filming. <laughs> Did you think that lady was an extra 10 points? And she was throwing you a few <laughs> F-bombs too, so... Oh, I love the whine of the motors. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, it's got some acceleration. That feels like a bike, like a big bike. Yes. It's right so fast. Yeah. Not, not like the motor shoulder. Yeah, I love what Ducati's done with their quality. They've really... Done amazing things over the last ten years. Yeah. Well, but can I tell you? In the blind spots. This right. crew that we ride with of maybe ten or twelve people, I think I was one of the only. A couple of us were on, were on Ducatis, and within the last year, year and a half, I think seven or eight of them all got yeah. Ducatis, and they love them. Yeah. Although one guy just went back to BMW because he's the BMW guy. Well, for me, the reason why I've stuck for so long, I, that that. That, two, that, that dual cylinder boxer engine yeah. is yeah. so quiet and it's not as powerful as you know those, those Ducati L twins. Right. But I just it's a character. It's yeah, I it's just it. it's so it doesn't it doesn't leap, it doesn't leap right. It doesn't leap yeah. at lopes. Yeah, I like to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the leap. I've had like uh, four GSAs for instance. Yeah. I love them. BMWs are good to rent. That's my philosophy. I mean, I, I'd probably like one next year because I think they'll probably make it 1300 cc. Yes. Get 10 inch TFT. Yep. Get active cruise and blind yep. spots, and then, yep. that's the one to buy for sure. The new TFT on the BMW is ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so cool. So one click down, you get the cruise control on the right stock. See, the oh, wow. only thing that has to happen with the, with the cruise control, though, is that it has to be intelligent to the degree that it understands individual human behavior. It should understand your profile, right. how you like to drive. Yeah. And if you, if for instance, if you're a type of individual yeah. who likes to break far, far away from your object, yeah. it should do that. Well, Lord knows you got yeah. enough data points to do that. When are we going to get it? It'll, it'll absolutely happen. Uh -huh. because. You want people, Are you collecting that well, yes. internally and analyzing yes. all that yes. data? Because you want people to trust the vehicle. Yeah. And unless the vehicle behaves like you do, you won't trust it. So that's why all that's going to be part of 
And here I was hoping for an improvement in driving when I let the vehicle take over. <laughs> Eric, this is um, this feels like real wood open pore. It is. It's it's it's, 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 nice. an, it's an ash. Yeah. Yeah. It's ash. Really nice. It's not all lacquered in and plasticky feeling. Yeah. I like the way that you know everywhere where your body touches, like your elbows and stuff, it's all soft touch. Yeah, I really like. Nice. I really like that elbow rest on that door. Did that auto stop or did you do that? Uh, I I went to stop and then the uh, the uh, auto cruise started to kick in again. Okay. But because we're at a slight angle, I think it was uh, right. If you want to take off, if I take off the cruise control, you just you just tap it up. Right. I really like the actually I really like the slow speed manners. You know, all the videos are about wow, it's got 900 pound per feet and accelerates faster than a Raptor, but. But actually, this is what you end up doing a lot in the yes. world, right? Yep. You end up driving no, 30 miles an hour and no, you're not wrong. Out of car parts. I, to I totally agree with you. Because, you know, for example, when Jerry got on my Africa Twin and he yep. puts it in first gear and gets lurched forward, and it's this is very tame, very manageable, very smooth. Well, that's, Even going a couple miles an hour. That's exa that, and that's the biggest difference that I feel between the Tesla Model S and this. Yeah. The Tesla Model S again. I prefer to it as fast twitch. Uh -huh. You really at slower, even at slow speeds, you have to be careful. Uh -huh. I mean, it's sort of like a wild animal that can, right. if you're not on top of it, it can get away from you. This, for some reason, this isn't as twitchy. There's yeah. something about it that feels. Maybe it's the weight. Maybe it's the pneumatic suspension. I, I or both. I don't know. I mean, in ten minutes, I felt very comfortable. Is that? Yeah. Um, is that the plaid or you, have you driven both? The yeah, both, yeah. both. Okay. And, the, I, and I drove the plaid the other day with the yoke. Yeah. And it was, I had to pay attention. It, was, <laughs> it, it wanted to get away from me. And because the regen isn't as powerful, but the acceleration is more, Yeah. it's, it's leaping away from you, and you better know that it, it can be tough. So you think that my promised window has a decent chance? We were talking about this at yeah. lunch. You think it has a decent chance of yes. happening? Yeah. When is the because I haven't been contacted by my guide yet. Well, but I know that only happens a couple weeks before you actually take delivery from what I've read. Because when your guide contacts you, they basically want to make sure that when they build it, right. you, you're it's yours. Yeah. It doesn't mean that if you cancel within that window, that we don't give you your thousand dollars back, and we don't. You know, all that still happens. Um, but as a matter of fact, what we've what we've wound up doing. So, so hold on. So, you, so to take away from that first part, right. before you go to the second part, right. the guy doesn't contact you before the car. He does contact you, or he or she, before the car is built. Yeah. They want so you, they want they. So they, my car definitely hasn't been built yet. Yeah. When they know that something's going to be happening soon, and they're not, and they're not on top of every single. Um, unit that comes off the assembly line and yeah. and, and it's, it's not real time type stuff, but it's getting close to it. Huh. All right. So, knowing that timeline, if they gave me an April May, you uh, should be getting it. April yeah. May window. I should be contacted in, yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. If we're going to make a May window. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. Yeah, it's fortuitous that you brought the exact same configuration I have. The interior color, the yes, wheel yes. size, the color of the vehicle, batteries, you know, it's all exactly what I ordered. It'll look just like yeah. this. It's nice to see it. I've got these wheels, but I've got rhythm blue at the moment. Rhythm blue. Right. Yeah, that's that's exactly. Well, what you'll, what you'll notice is every time you see one and you see that paint color, yeah. there isn't one with which they've made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. They all look nice. really nice, and it's a water-based paint, but it still has fleck in it. Um, oh wow! It's so water-based paint. I don't know how they've done that because that fleck is just so cool. That's no break, right? That's not no break. That's crazy. Okay, holding on. Yep. Go ahead. Heads back. You were 0 to 60 and 3.4. I had the stopwatch going. 3.4 to 60. That's all regen. 
and those are the wheels too. If right, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, you know, the sport tires yeah. are, are the ones that you know, would really. Uh, they, well, actually, that's not true. It's the all-purpose tires, in which they've actually done that. The twenty ones through the twenty ones. Yeah, because they're less sticky. Yep. Well, these have more give. These have more flex in them, and, as I heard around that bend. Please. Oh yeah, it is. It, that sound for the blinker is interesting. It's louder than I expected. And you got the bird chirp. The bird chirp for the locking. That's, that's yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Now your fob battery is not working. That's or it is. Um, how, uh. how easy it is to see over the hood, actually. That's well, that's what I was door. saying. It's the, yeah. the the field of vision. It's great. Forward and back. These are awesome. It really it, it generates confidence because you don't feel and yeah. no breaks. No breaks. Still hold. That's yeah. awesome, isn't it? So when it stops, he'll hold his automatic all the time. Correct. He'll hold. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah especially on a heavy vehicle, it's just nice knowing there's no rollback. So yeah. Yeah, as I said, if you are on some steep street in San Francisco, let's call it Divisadero, there's somebody right behind you, uh -huh. and you're trying to go up into Pacific Heights, you don't want this thing to roll back. Yeah, fantastic overview today, thank you. Yeah, will you uh, show us the bed, awesome. the charging door in the gear tunnel for you, yeah. Roll? Yeah. You got time oh, yeah. for that? Oh, yeah. Right. oh yeah, let's take a look at the trunk, let's take a look at the gear. Oh yeah, the trunk, right. I don't, have the, the I don't have the portable charger with us today because they were using it to charge other vehicles. Okay. You've got your 120 volt, your 240 volt, um, and, you mean, and that's and again. You uh, mean the 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 cables and yes. plugs that come with the vehicle? Yes. yes. Gotcha. So so with that portable charger, you would have the ability to plug it into a 120 and a 240. A 120 is just a trickler. Uh -huh. so that's maybe three to six miles of range per charge. Hour. Right. But the, the 240 is legitimate. It's, yeah. a, it's a NEMA 1450, so it's 16 miles of range per charge hour. Well, that's it's not the 25 yeah. that you get with the 11.5 kilowatts of 48 amps. But it's it's well, not. I'm, it's, I'm it's, attaching this to a 48 amp Tesla amp, charger. Yeah. So will that will that portable cable not deliver the full amperage? Do uh, I not need the 60 amp adapter I'm, I have on my save for later? Well, the nice part is, is because Tesla has made that J1772 adapter. Yeah. Your Tesla wall charger will work in, with this vehicle with that adapter. But I don't have a Tesla yet, so I, it won't. Oh, I thought you so, had the Tesla. No, no, no. no we, we ordered it, but don't have it yet. So I am I have on hold a 60 amp. It's called a... like. This, I can't remember I, the name. Tesla the, Tap. I, it's I called would, Tesla Tap. I would get the 60 amp because that way I can use it at a not yeah. a DC char, not a, a DC charger, do, but everything DC. else I can. It'll work on any Tesla charger, destination charger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. my thoughts on the test drive of the Rivian R1T and I think all three of us felt that um, it gave an underlying impression of solidity. It really is a, a solid well-built truck, um, very kind of reminiscent of uh, old school Mercedes-Benz when Mercedes used to make really solid 
vehicles. There's a distinct thunk when closing the car door. In fact, I had to shut mine four or five times because I didn't realize just how much force was required and it had a very satis satisfying like vault-like thunk to it as did the gear tunnel. Uh, the shut lines were very good on it. The paint was uh, immaculate basically. And I think um, obviously it's incredibly fast. That's what all the videos show. And uh, you know, it was nice to experience the acceleration. Um, but I think what really surprised was uh, the refinement and particularly the low speed refinement. So it's a very quiet vehicle with the double glazed windows and uh, really good ride quality with the air suspension. Um, but when you're just kind of reversing out of a parking space and you're literally doing one, two, three, four, five miles per hour, I thought with like 900 pound per feet of torque, this is going to be, you know, a bit jumpy. You're going to have to have a very steady foot, but nothing could be further from the truth. It was totally linear and just super smooth in the way in which you could uh, just reverse out at one, two, three, four, five miles per hour. You could literally pick your MPH. And the regen braking was incredibly strong, but you can uh, tailor that. Uh, we had it on maximum and I think I'd probably keep it on maximum. You get very used to it very quickly. And um, overall it handled very well. Uh, it's obviously not a sports car, but Eric was throwing it around like it was a sports car. And uh, it didn't really uh, cause any cause for concern. In fact, the roll quality was particularly good. It just did not have that horrible mushy feeling that a typical SUV has, for instance. And overall, uh, very impressed. Uh, Eric and I are very, uh, very pleased overall uh, with the test drive. And we're very confident that the vehicle is gonna be uh, a fantastic truck to own. And uh, we're definitely keeping our orders in. And in fact, Eric hopes to take delivery of his within the next month or so. So perhaps we'll have some more videos on the R1T. Hey you. If you want to become one of the right on people, don't forget to subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on.